that chain. You think it's the same brick crack knock your ass out with? All right, what's up, gentlemen? Thank you so much for being here. Salute to each and every one of you. Man, I want to talk about this because it is burning me alive. And guys, every one of you have dealt with this. Every one of you will continue to deal with this. No matter how good of a man you become, no matter how successful of a man you become, you are always going to have people that test the boundaries of what you set in place when it comes to you. Meaning, you're always going to deal with disrespect. Always. And the thing is, is you have to learn how to fucking deal with disrespect. Guys, let me, let me explain something to you. No matter how good of a man you are, how successful you are, how big you are, how flexed you are, how hot of a chick you've got, how much money you've got, None of this shit matters because people will come into your life that throw shade and disrespect on your ass. And guys, listen, I don't even like these words shit test. Oh, a woman's shit test to be by disrespecting me. How to check it and shit. Listen, you absolutely do check it. But you check that bitch too and put her ass on the goddamn corner where you found her. Man, let me tell you something about disrespect. People get one goddamn chance, one, with you. Stop, listen, stop allowing people to goddamn push your boundaries and disrespect your ass. Cop an attitude. Raise their voice. Whatever it is, it's going to happen. It happens to the best of us, guys. This is the thing. It's not about curving disrespect it's about how to deal with it when it comes because it is coming especially if you elevate man the disrespect is going to even grow you're going to have more lovers but you're going to have more haters too and you have to understand this people get one goddamn shot when it comes to disrespecting your ass and, and what i mean by that say somebody disrespects you maybe they raise their voice maybe they talk back or they show some type of public issue like in public and you check that shit and they come correct right away you you can maybe forgive that otherwise it's a rap ski meaning if somebody disrespects you you check it you call them out and they walk away and they don't rectify the fucking situation right away or within a day at, at the most it's a rap it's a rap People that disrespect you will never stop disrespecting you. These types of people. And this goes for men or fucking women. Dude, when somebody like disrespects me to the point where I got to say something to them and they don't correct it right away, I'm done. I'm done. Bitch, I'll never talk to your ass again. I will block you. I will never fucking talk to you again. Friend or foe, I don't give a fuck, man or woman. But if you call that garbage out, which you should, as a man, you call that garbage out, you call that bullshit out, you disrespect me, I don't appreciate this, this is not how I'm going to be fucking treated. And they don't correct it right the fuck away, you walk the fuck away. You walk the fuck away and you never look back. You dodge the bullet. You're welcome. You dodged a fucking bullet. Guys, I've never seen disrespect go in the opposite direction if it wasn't addressed from the get-go. Meaning, people will often unconsciously test you in certain ways. It, it happens. That they might crack a joke and they don't mean to, and that's okay. You don't have to be sitting here like making people walk on eggshells. But if you address it and they don't fucking come correct right away, it's a wrap. Period done. I will never talk to your ass again, bitch. Ever. I will never address you. Don't you ever think that you have the right to address my ass either. Going forward, you see me in public two years later, shut your fucking mouth. You had all this time to address that disrespect that I called your ass out on. Because guys, let me tell you something. I'm at the place in my life I will always call out disrespect. If somebody disrespects me, I'm going to call it out, period. You're not going to talk to me this way. You're not going to use that tone with me. 
I'm not gonna put up with this bullshit. And if you got a fucking problem with it, cool. I accept that. No, nope, no, nope. listen, no harm, no foul. I'll walk. But don't ever think you can see me down the line and say, hey, Kenny, how's it going? Man, suck my dick, bitch. Suck my dick. What do you mean, how's it going? You know how it's going. That's why you're asking. You thought you could get away with that shit. I called you out on it. You didn't even address it then, which is even more disrespectful, by the way. If someone disrespects you and you call them out and they don't address it right the fuck away, that's double disrespect in my opinion, man. This is why it's time. You got to cut these people the fuck off permanently from like, listen, you don't come with an apology two years later. Oh, I'm sorry for the way I treated you. Maybe they are really, truly sorry. A day late and a dollar short, bitch. A day late and a dollar short. I addressed it right then and there. And you couldn't fucking address it with me. You want to humiliate me on top of the disrespect you already gave me. Guys, this is what I'm saying. You got to be cold with your goddamn cutoff game. Cutoff game is a must. Cutoff game is a must. You got to know when to cut contact 100 fucking percent right away, immediately, in every category. Meaning, these motherfuckers will never have the privilege of having access to your ass again. You will never visit them again. You will never reach out to them again. You will never take them out and treat them well. No, 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 no. I don't give a shit what your problem was. You think you're going to take that shit out on me? No, I'm not your goddamn punching bag. I wish your ass would. You could treat these other simps this way, but not me. And not you. Guys, the disrespect never goes in the opposite direction. It never does. Rarely have I met a person who truly reverses their disrespect. Like, honestly, they disrespect, I address it, bam, I'm sorry, I'll never fucking do it again. And they actually never do it again. Very rare are those circumstances. But nine times out of ten, when you address the disrespect, they gaslight your ass. They gaslight you. What's wrong with you? <laughs> what do you mean, what's wrong with me? I'm not even, at, I'm at the point where I'm not even going to argue with them. Ain't nothing wrong with me. I see what it is. Thank you for showing me who the fuck you are. And I walk the fuck away, I close that chapter, and I move the fuck on. Which is exactly what you have to do. You can't be out here tolerating people disrespecting your ass. You gotta call people out on their shit. Listen, give people a chance to correct it. I believe in that. I'm not trying to be some savage out here. Listen, I'm just trying to live my goddamn life. I don't go around treating people this way, if you will. Now, have I unconsciously disrespected people? Yes. But if they call me out, I address it. That's what it means to fucking like show mutual respect to other people. And men, this is the language of us. Like men, our language is respect. Our language is not love. Love languages, feelings, emotions, fuck out of here. Men respond to respect, period. So if you address it and they don't address it, it's done. It's a rasky. You don't argue. You don't tell them. You don't send these long blue bubbles to explain it. You cut them the fuck off and it's done. You understand that? Done. You got to stop explaining yourself to people. Most people don't even deserve a goddamn explanation from your ass. The people that disrespect you don't care about your feelings already. They've demonstrated that. They've shown you. They didn't apologize when you, like, came correct and sh and, and and pointed it out. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't address it then. What What the fuck makes you think they care about an explanation from your ass about why you're cutting them off? No, you cut them the fuck off with no explanation. These bitches don't even deserve an explanation. Stop trying to redirect disrespect. You can never redirect disrespect. It's always going in one direction, period. Nine times out of 10. Now you can go out there and play the, play the game if you want, think that you can, I can tame this bitch from disrespecting me. Good luck with that. No, you can't. It's not gonna happen. 
Once they get away with it, they will always believe they can get away with it. And it will only increase and get worse in perpetuity. So stop allowing people to damn disrespect your ass. You stand up for yourself. You cut these motherfuckers off with no explanation and no fucks given. None. Stop allowing people to treat you less than the motherfucker you are. You know who you are inside. You know that you wouldn't treat someone this way. You're not going to do it. So why the hell would you allow people to treat you this way? Disrespect is obvious. You know what I'm talking about. We all know what I'm talking about. And I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat this shit. Disrespect is blatant disrespect. You address it, and either they address it right away, or it's done. If they don't address it within 24 hours, you never talk to them motherfuckers again. Block them. Cut them off. Unfriend them. Unfollow them. Whatever that is. You understand me? Never tolerate disrespect ever with that said guys i hope this helps i love you guys man i love it here i got a good positive attitude about this whole entire thing this whole situation but honestly shit happens there are disrespectful people that come into your life that try to come into your fucking life and if you're not prepared to address it and cut them the fuck off you, 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 to be honest, why do you deserve the next level? Because you got to leave some people in the dust because they're not qualified to be at that next level with you. And you got to be honest with yourself about this. You're not trying to drag people with you. You can, you, like, if they want to come, okay. But otherwise, no. We're not going to sit here and tolerate disrespect. We're not going to tolerate, like, tolerate people being uh, uncaring, like cynical from their point of view about us. No, we ain't putting up with that shit over here. I love you guys. Throw me some love on this video and I'll see you motherfuckers later.